have there, you know, along with, you know, some of the other guys, you know, Harvey and these guys. I mean, I think our defensive line is going to be disgusting. Oh, yeah, man. I'm Three really excited about that. Oh, yeah, bro. Those, let me tell you, Gregory Rosario, I mean, he, that kid, you just walk by him. He's like, so, well, to me, I'm 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, he looks like he's 6'10. <laughs> I mean, he's huge, dude. The kids, that kid's a freak, let me tell you. Love it, bro. I love it. All right, so let's uh, let's move on to our next guest. Um, we want you to stay on the line though, because it's a uh, it's a family connection. Um, we're giving your nephew a call, uh, Stephen Ortiz. Oh, uh, what is he like? Yes, sir. Corner. Yeah, he's a uh, you know he's a, a cornerback, probably you know probably a nickel corner. So yeah. in a college for sure. But he, I mean, he plays safety. He plays all. You know, he can play it all. He's. And let me tell you, I'm, we're my family's so proud of him because. Yeah, uh, he's he works so hard. Let me tell you, I don't think there's another kid in this country, not because he's my nephew, believe me, uh, but there's not a kid in this country that works harder than he does. I love it, bro. I love four, it. Four I star six, corner, seven, eight, let, let us just uh, clarify hey, that the kid's a kid's an absolute stud, four star cornerback, and we've all we've all been hyped on him for a while. He, we, he yeah, very hard worker, and um, you know, yeah, I mean, your family should be proud. He, kid's a stud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really I appreciate that. Dude, and Kane's, Kane's fam absolutely loves him. No. Yeah, yeah I, I know that. I know for sure that when uh, Rump had called him and my brother-in-law, he they you know they he told him he's like, man, I don't know what you guys are doing or what's going on with with little Steven, but he uh, he has a Kane's following like no other down here. He's like a huge you know used part a huge part of the you know Kane's football down here everybody loves him on you know media every everywhere i go i hear his name so i'm like all right Kane's fam is is definitely legit <laughs> there dude there was definitely a, a day or two on social media where uh steven ortiz jr was trending just as much as the coronavirus <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, you know, next time i love college just tell him to tell him to actually watch the tape and he'll get it so yeah, I, exactly I, I have a feeling he hasn't even watched the tape yet he must not but anyways, yeah. I'm, I'm going to dial up Steven right now, so give me just a second. All right, cool. Steven, what's up, bro? You there? Hey, what's up? I just got home. Hey, man. So this is Jordan from the Fours Up podcast. We got Marsh on here. We got Brad Tejeda, and we got your Uncle Cliff. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's going what's on, up, man? I'm chilling. How, how's y'all doing? Dude, we're doing good. We're we're hyped from uh, you know, just hearing all the good things about spring ball. We're hyped to have you on. You know, it's just it's a good day. It's three oh five day. It's March fifth, so it's a good day, man. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard about it. everybody's posting it on Instagram now. Yeah. Hello. So, first thing I want to get into is is would you mind uh, giving us a little history? I, I know that you got some family from South Florida. Um, you know, you being an Arizona prospect, I think there might be some people that are missing the the draw to Miami for you. So just tell us about your family and your ties to uh, South Florida, if you would. Yeah, um, my ties are pretty much my family out there, pretty much. I've been with Miami fans since the sixth grade. I've been to their campus. They show me around ever since then. I just love the school ever since. So this has been my dream school. Been trying to get there, get the offer, probably commit there. That's, they've been my dream school for a long time. And then my family, they they really big Canes fans out there, like ride or die. My uncle Cliff, he be mighty. My two cousins, Connor and Maddie, they some ride or die Canes fan out there, and I love you around that environment. And then um, that's it pretty much. I mean that that's uh that's awesome to hear, Stephen. And uh, and, yeah, and also like the fan base, the fan base show me a lot of love right now. And I think one thing that makes them really happy is me get that offer from Miami, which made me. I love you would cry. I'm not gonna lie, cause that's my dream school. Dude, that's gonna make you cry, bro. <laughs> dude, dude. dude, that's uh, You're telling me. Yeah, dude, that's uh, that's awesome. And I and I was just about to say, Stephen, that yeah, the Canes fam definitely uh, they they love you and and they're definitely aware of you know of of your talents as well. And I know that you just went to Vegas for a for a seven on seven tournament. How did that go? It went good. It was a little rainy the first day, but you know me, I love the rain. And I love any kind of weather, playing any weather. But the only thing, I, the thing I love about Florida, the same thing as Arizona, but it's like humid. But I, I could deal with the heat and the rain and all that. And I never will be alone. But the Vegas tournament, it went good. I loved it out there. I love playing with my guys from FSP. 
How'd, how how'd your team perform? We did good. We lost in the quarterfinals because of the refs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't have put the game in the refs' hands. We should have won off the back. Yeah. Steven, man, what's going on, man? It's Brad, uh, friend of your, your your uncle Cliff. Uh, I'm gonna actually come see you uh, play up in Tampa in a couple weeks for your seven on seven. But um, the, based off your film, man, and 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 the way you you talk, your demeanor, you definitely have that dog in you, man. You're a hard worker. Uh, I think that the biggest thing that pops out about you is like your uncle said, man, you're a grinder. Uh, you lot, yes, you, you, you remind me a lot. Uh, you remind me a lot of uh, Trey's and Bandy, um, just maybe an inch or two taller, man. You, you got all the skill set. Uh, but what I would like to know is from you is w- what's the one thing you, you would like to work on the most? The most? Um, to back back what you just said about you going to Tampa, I'm gonna give you a performance to come watch. Like I'm, <laughs> not gonna, be, I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make you love the watching me. But um. Work on the most, probably my technique at nickel position, because that's what I want to play in college. So I just want to focus more on nickel more than anything. But if the coach wants me to play corner or safety, I could adjust to that easily. Sounds good, man. I like it. Cool, yeah. sir. So your offer, like your your list of schools that have offered you is really, really impressive. Um, you know, you got, you got an offer from Penn State. Um, you have USC, Oregon, Washington. You got Nebraska and Mississippi State. Um, are are there a small group of schools that you're leaning towards right now? Say, you know, say that Miami offer doesn't come. Like, uh, are there a favorite? Is are there a few favorites already? No, I give all the schools the same amount of energy. I don't like saying favorites and all that. But if if Miami doesn't offer. I'm still going to show loyalty to the school that offered me. And, um, yeah, I don't have no favorites right now. I don't do the favorites game. I give everybody the same amount of love, the same amount of um, loyalty and everything. Hey, I respect that, bro. Yeah. Yeah, sir. yeah I mean, that, that's, a, that's, a matu- that's a mature answer, and, that's yeah, that's very, very respectable. Um, Steven, is there, a, is there a specific cornerback that you have always – that you've always wanted to – kind of looked up to or tried to uh you know style your game after his or anything like that i got i got a safety and a quarterback i, I got um sean taylor and i got Jalen ramsey okay since their personality is just a dog and i just always been watching them ever since i grew up and the thing that happened to sean taylor was tragic so pretty much sean taylor made me a db so like he motivated me to be a db because he was a hard hitter and he was just a guy that had a lot of swag, and I wouldn't really mess with that. And he was a dog. And Jalen Ramsey, too. Yeah, dude, I know the our uh, our listeners are going to love that answer, especially the, the Sean Taylor. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, man, just just like they both said, man, you you got that dog in you. Um, I got I got two little questions for you. One, um, do you have a time do you have a timeline on on your commitment at all? As far as when you do want to commit? Um, like, is there, I'm trying is there to push to September 1st, right after the dead period, so then my whole football season I could just focus on that one school only. So I don't got to keep meeting coaches and all that. I could just stay focused on one school only and focus on everything else. Cool. All right, all right. And, and, and the, the bigger question that I think all of us on the pod and everybody on Twitter would like to know is, we hang up this phone with you tonight. And uh, Coach Rump and the Miami Hurricanes call you and offer you. How do you feel? Yo, I probably would go run a marathon or something. I'd be so <laughs> hyped. I'd probably have a tear come down my eye. So my pops. And Uncle Cliff would probably, that guy, he will probably oh, come yeah. cool. Dude, I, I'll, 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 know, I'll, I'll know when you get offered because I know your Uncle Cliff will be calling me screaming, man. He, he's, yeah. he's proud to have you as a nephew. If there's one thing I know about him. Yeah, I love that no, guy. I'll, I'll, I'll be crying like a baby, I'll tell you that. <laughs> for a guy that wants me to get that offer the most is him and i love him a lot for sure man. love you love you too brother yeah that's good to hear that's good to hear so uh if so say you do get that offer i mean you said that miami's your dream school and and i i'm not gonna ask you if you'd like commit on the spot or anything like that but uh we'd have a pretty good shot if we gave you that offer right yes sir I visited the school more than like three or four times. I went to the um 
Savannah State game where y'all blew them out 77 to 0 or something. Yeah. I knew a couple people in the stands. I knew a couple. I love the facility tour that they gave me and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but bro, that's uh that that just pumps me up, man. But um Steven, what are what are your thoughts on coach uh, Manny Diaz and uh you know, also coach Rumpf and how he's done developing his cornerback? I think he's doing a good job. He put a lot of DBs in the league, like I said. And Coach Manny Diaz, from being, um, what was he, a coordinator, a defensive coordinator or offensive coordinator? I forgot. Defense. Yeah, yeah defensive coordinator to a head coach is kind of a big deal. And he's doing a good job. And let's just see what they do this year. I think they'll do good this year, though. Yeah. And we're all pumped about I mean, thanks for coming on, bro. Loved having yeah. you. Yeah. It's hoping, an honor. Uh, I'm hoping that we can at least help you, you know, generate some buzz around your recruitment down here and hopefully light a fire under the coaching staff's booty, you know? Yes, sir. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, appreciate it, uh, Steven, as well, man. Uh, I'll make yeah, sure I see you in a couple of weeks, man. We'll kick it with your uncle. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks, Steven, and thanks, Cliff. We're going to we're gonna let you go as well. All right, guys. You guys take it easy. Thank you guys so much for having me, bro. I was a big fan of the show, and – Love you guys, bro. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Hey, hey love mutual, yes, brother. Sir. Look, look forward to seeing you in a in a month. Tampa. Or so. Oh yeah, yes sir, y'all for sure. We'll be at the spring game, all hanging out for sure too. Oh, yes man. sir. Cool. Good. To all hear right, you. young. All right, young savage. I'll holler at you. All right, Cliff, all right. man. All right, guys. Later. Bye. Oh, good deal. Good, good stuff, man. Yeah, dude, that that was dope. I, Jeez, man, I really hope that we get Steven. I mean, I don't, I don't want to push too hard on the coaching staff. You know, I, I gotta respect their job, you know, and what they're doing. But man, it just doesn't really make sense to me. You know, it's I not mean, at all. Corner is like the biggest, the biggest hole in our roster right now. And you got a kid that's highly rated, you know, performs well, checks every single freaking box that you can possibly come up with. And you just heard it, dude. He would cry if he gets a Miami offer. It's like, yeah. what, what's going on, dude? dude well, just he's that good. Like, that's the thing. He's good. Like, yeah. it's yep. like like vouching for, like, for just a, a so-so kid. Like, this kid's a four-star cornerback, great size. Like, like I don't get it. None at all, man. He he, had, dude. That work ethic, man, and. He's hungry, dude. That's what I love the most about him, man. Like you could just tell in his voice in that interview, man. He, regardless of what school he goes to, he's gonna he's gonna bust his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely, abs- dude. And so um, so we got we got that out of the way. And Cliff was was awesome too. Thanks again to that guy. He is he's as good as they get with when it comes. He's good people, man. But um, going off of what he said, let, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in at green tree the past few days i mean i have talked to some people that are that are there i I talked to to gabby and i talked to some other guys and i'm hearing just i know that we're not trying to build that hype train too much but like dear king bro like he's he's the real deal like he's i i I, he's good man like he's i think he's going to be better than a lot of people even think dude i'm not yeah, for sure, bro. He, I'm hearing the same thing. the The word that comes to mind is legit. the The guy, the guy has great accuracy on the run. I've heard. I mean, and what I like the most about him is he's already taking control of the huddle. I, I think one or two guys uh, said in their post post interview after practice that like just the way he comes in a huddle and, and demands the respect, man. I, it, it's been a long time since we've had a quarterback that that comes in here. Uh, and, and just demands the respect from the players and actually gets it um, and wants to be the quarterback for the Miami Hurricanes. And I think I think we really gotta, got got ourselves a gym. Dude, I hope so, man. I I mean, I just wish we could keep him around a little bit, dude. Maybe we have to make him like an athletic director or something after this season. <laughs> <laughs> just, he just says, screw the NFL. I'm, uh, I'm, going, I'm just going to be the next AD at Miami. Um, or you could, or you could just go to Florida and just say screw it and go to the XFL and then get yeah, cut right. by the XFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's savage right there. I, I honestly like I'm, I'm honest. I know he's like a little undersized, but I'm honestly like a little surprised that we haven't heard like 
anything about him with the NFL draft next year. I, I like I haven't heard like 